Hello, my friend. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Premier League match week 32 and this is my preview for all the games. There are so many of them, so I'm not going to be able to give more details about every single game. But big games are going to have specific videos, so stay tuned for it. But let's just go very quickly and see what is going to happen from this Friday. So on Friday, as you can tell, April 21st, 2023, Arsenal against Southampton at the Emirates Stadium in London. Just a very quick watch on the two teams here. You see that Arsenal just dropped some point against Liverpool and West Ham United. So they drop like, you know, a lot of points, to be honest with you, when you want to win. And Southampton are bottom of the table now. It looks certain that they are going to the championship. But they are not going to give up just like that. They're going to fight until the end. That is my belief. They're going to give Arsenal hard time but i think at the end arsenal can't lose any more games at the moment if they want to win the, the the premier league so i think arsenal to win this one three one next up let's move on on saturday april 22nd fulham against lead very very interesting game here lead united are fighting for their lives they have to get some kind of result now for their fans because the last game remember they lost against uh, against liverpool heavily so they own their fans something and they are playing away against uh, fulham in london fulham marco silva Probably is going to be back on the bench. William could be back after suspension. Uh, Mitrovic, not yet because he needs to serve like eight games. I think it's going to be a draw. One, one at the end. Next up on Saturday, we have Brentford against Aston Villa. Aston Villa are flying right now. They are determined to finish in European places. It looks like they're going to go to Europa League for sure. And Una Emery is specialist in winning Europa Leagues. So I'm not going to be surprised next season if you see Aston Villa winning Europa League with Una Emery. <laughs> so this one. Bradford also are very, very good. Hmm, what is going to happen here? Another draw. 2-2 two, two at the end, my friend. Yeah, I see a draw there. Next up, Crystal Palace against Everton. Crystal Palace are flying under Roy Hodgson at the moment. Since he joined the team, man, it looks like... Uh, a 35 years old uh, man, a lot of energy in the team. He twisted the system a little bit, changed people some, you know, some positions here and there. They are doing great. They are doing great. I'm still very angry because they sacked Patrick Vieira. But if you look at it, if you look at it, what uh, Mr. Roy is doing to that team, you can't really complain, can you? So, I think Crystal Palace to win 2-0. 2-0 against Everton. Next up on Saturday, Leicester City against Wolves. I'm telling you right now, Leicester City need to start getting some point at home. And I think they're going to get all three points. John Terry, Dim Smith, I think they are going to have their first win here for the Foxes against uh, the Wolves. I think they're going to win 2-1 at the end. Go, John Terry. You know, I support John Terry, so kind of behind the Foxes. 
and uh, Wolves also beat Chelsea. So no love over there. <laughs> Only love for for Diego Costa, right? Okay, so on Saturday, the last game is going to be between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. Liverpool now are... I don't know. It, it's just kind of complicated to tell what you can get from Liverpool. But this time, Luis Diaz is coming from an injury. They have everybody pretty much back. And the last game, they completely destroyed lead united i think they're gonna continue with the same momentum against nottingham forest who really not doing good at the moment who are at the risk of going to the championship back again i think liverpool are going to completely destroy them 3-0 Let's go. Next up on Sunday, we're going to have Bournemouth against West Ham. West Ham are doing good in the Conference League. And also they had a, a very important point against Arsenal the last time. I think Bournemouth also is very, very good at the moment. I think this game is going to end up by 2-2 two -two at the end. It's going to be a draw. I don't see any team winning here. Newcastle United against Tottenham Hotspurs. This one, I think Newcastle are going to beat Tottenham Hotspurs. Spurs keep on dropping point. I don't even know if they're going to qualify for top four. Newcastle are trying everything in their power to get to the Champions League next season. I think they're going to do it. And they are going to beat Tottenham Hotspurs 2-0. Now, I think all the games for match day 32 officially done. But I wanted to mention one game here that Chelsea are going to play against, uh, against Bradford. That is going to be on Wednesday. So it's kind of uh, a little confusing here because some games are match day 32. Two, some of the games are still 30 match day 31 because this season been really all over the place with uh, the World Cup in the middle of the season the Queen dying a lot of games were postponed so it's still all over the place so this game here between Chelsea and Brentford I'm going to make a specific video about it but I think this could be Frank Lampard first win because Bradford already played on the weekend Chelsea are not gonna play on the weekend and this game is a must win for Frank Lampard expect an entire video about it